If you're a content creator or an educator and you're looking for an all-in-one platform to run your business, look no further than Uscreen. This is a platform if you're looking to grow your community, sell courses, subscriptions, have a mobile app, you can do all of those things with Uscreen. We're gonna be starting out by looking at the key features, then the pricing, and I'm gonna show you a tour how to get started and even an app in a company that I like following that is using Uscreen. So you can see an example of great brands using Uscreen. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you a feature that no other platform offers for content creators. So come with me. Let's take a look at the key features of Uscreen, then a walkthrough of the platform, the pricing, and the one feature that no other platform's using to build their community and their brand. Let's begin. First of all, let's take a look at the key features of Uscreen. Now this is important because it has over six main features for Uscreen. You've gotta figure out where are you in your business and what features stand out that allow you to get to the next level. Are you just getting started with building out your platform or are you shifting from a Patreon or Money Networks to Uscreen? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, if we look at some of these options, we have a branded OTT or over the top apps. This allows you to have branded apps, either if you're trying to create a mobile app or if you're trying to create a TV app that's gonna be on Fire TV or things like that, or Roku, whatever it is, you can have those type of apps for your brand. If you wanna live stream, if you're already a streamer on Twitch or YouTube or you're a content creator and you're used to going live, but you wanna have a different experience, a more intimate experience where people can talk with you and it will be a more inclusive group, you can bring that to Uscreen as well with the live streaming option. And you can monetize this by charging them either a subscription of a one-off or a monthly or annual fee for live streaming as well. This also allows you to chat with your audience as well as you're live streaming, which is a huge deal because that allows you to get closer to your audience. If you're looking to take payments and for right now, maybe you're uh, having multiple platforms where you're taking your customer to another platform to check out, you can do this seamlessly on with Uscreen. With PayPal or Stripe, you can integrate for people to, uh, for your audience to pay via uh, a credit card, or if they're going to be using Apple Pay or anything like that, you can be doing that. And if you're also having a app, you can have in-app purchases as well. So if it's on the App Store, they can purchase different plans right there uh, seamlessly with their phone. If we're looking at the video CMS and video player, this allows you to manage your content a lot better. And you can decide however you want to do it. If you have different collections or categories, you can have this on the back end options to be able to make sure that you structure it the way, right way that works for you. And if you're looking to streamline your website, perhaps you're, you know, you're overwhelmed. You've already been trying to use Squarespace or WordPress. You can do this in just a, a few clicks, already creating a video on demand website that looks beautiful and for really allows your brand to be professional. There's tons of different themes that you can use. And really in just a few seconds, you can be able to manage and really change the entire look and feel of your brand. We'll show you what that looks like on the back end in just a little bit. If you're trying to scale your community, like I mentioned earlier, you can have a lot of different features where you're talking to your community in different ways that you can make another, um, uh, another point where people can talk to you, ask you questions, and it's going to be another layer than being on social media because you're building your own community on your own platform. Now, taking a look what the back end looks like, we're gonna log in, this is what it looks like, and we're gonna go step-by-step, step, starting on the left-hand side and looking at all of these features. If we look at the left-hand side, we see dashboard, content, people, community, and it goes down on the left-hand side. We're gonna take one step at a time. If we look at content, this allows you to upload your different types of content. After you upload your content, you can also edit it and manage the plan. So you can change out the titles, make sure that you have a trailer, a thumbnail, you can decide what category it's under, you can add authors, and really make sure that you optimize it in a way for your audience to know what kind of content you present, if they can access it, if is it free for people, Do, are you charging them 
per video or you know per collection and also too you can optimize it for seo purposes as well so people can find you easier during what when they search the internet as well so you can do this for your video live streaming collections and you can also have extras where you can be uploading all different types of content for extras for people to have this available to make sure that you're going to offer more things for your audience which is really good next we have people where you can invite people to the platform which is excellent and you can also in uh, you can turn on and activate comments as well for the community if you choose to upgrade for that part you can have different features for you to connect with your audience and here we can see the subscriptions if we want to have different plans this allows you to create the perfect plan for your community you can name it a very specific way you can have images but note here where you can have different pricing the billing period where it can be monthly quarterly six months or a year depending on what your audience is looking for and you could also have trial periods this is important because you can have them try it out for seven days 30 day free trial but then it converts it over to a paid um, subscription after they're done as well if they continue it can already move into that so again you're allowing them to try it out and then they flow right into being a paid member as well if we look at the sales sales tab that allows us to look at our how much you're making and how you're making this this is really allowing you to have a snapshot of your business and look at what you might need to change what can you do to increase revenue or or perhaps you're looking at your your schedule and looking at your sales and you can predict it maybe it's seasonal maybe people are um joining because of a very specific time of the year or a special program that you're offering you can see that in the sales data as well and look at the coupons and what people are taking advantage to get into your platform and your and your different programs we're going to look at the marketing one in a little bit i'm really excited about that tab but let's take a look at the website now i alluded to it before where you can customize and have a video on demand theme but you have a theme library you can break down and be able to edit and see what's great for you but also once you find a theme that works for you you can customize it once you go and look at the customization on the left hand side it allows you to understand what you're looking at for the whole page for example if i say header you see how it underlines in in blue uh what the header is going to be i can decide to change the header if i want or maybe maybe the hero banner maybe i want to change out the image or change out the title i can do all of those things from the left side of the page and then i can publish it and make it live I can also see the different pages. I can have different pages, home page right here, but I can actually add another page as well. And I can look at what it looks like, either um, desktop or mobile. And that allows me to have a full experience to understand what my brand is looking like right now, and then being able to change it from here. What I really like is it's already giving you a template and images that already look good. So it allows you to already have in your mind's eye what you want to change that makes your brand special but it allows you to really understand and look at what's successful and then be able to change it for yourself as well next up if we go back to the admin section we have analytics so this gives you a deeper dive if you're looking at the watch time what are people viewing all of those things and this helps you really with the type of content you're creating because you can see in real time where are people in the world watching what kind of devices are they watching on it and what kind of content are they looking for and that allows you to again scale in the right direction for your brand now that we've looked at the back end let's take a look at the pricing now what i would look at for pricing would be thinking about where you are in your business if you're just getting started and you're worried about pricing you might you might not have paid community members right here or you're worried about should you commit remember uscreen has a free trial so if you're going to start out you can always ask your audience or say hey this is what i'm planning to do 
in 14 days, I'm going to see if this is the right direction. So you're validating in real time and see if your audience is going to pay for it. So you can sign up right now. There's going to be a link down below. You can try out Uscreen, tell your audience, hey, I'm going to be creating this. This is what my brand is. This is where I want to go and see what's going on. You can get so much feedback by launching that way. You can even say this has to break a certain amount. We need to have this many members. I'm going to charge X amount, $20 a month or $35 a month, $5 a month. But now you can set up, is your pricing in the right structure? Is this the right time for you? And now you can be able to scale and go in the right direction. Now let's take a look at the different pricing options. I'll look at monthly and then I'll go to annual. For, for monthly, the basic plan starts at $99. The growth plan starts at $199 per month and they charge you per subscriber, right? So the more subscribers you have, they charge you per subscriber. So it's $99 for the basic base, but every subscriber you have, say for instance, you charge $5 for one of the subscriptions per month, Uscreen is gonna take 99 cents of it. So you're making about $4.01, right? So just keep that in mind. It's how much you're going to be charged per month, but then they're going to pay, be taking a subscriber fee for every subscriber. But remember, they're only taking money, they're only making money if you make money. So look at the base and then be able to go accordingly. The reason I bring up the price for per subscriber is you wanna make sure it's baked into your pricing that it's not too low that now you didn't calculate, oh, you know, uh, I thought I could just do my basic tier at $3 a month. Well, if you're at the basic tier, they're taking basically a third of that, right? If you're at the growth tier, they're taking uh, 85 cents per subscriber. So it's just something to keep in mind. Remember, it costs money to run a business. So these are just different, um, different price points to keep in mind. All right. If you look at annual, it's going to switch over to $79 or 159 so let's just look at the basics of what you're going to be getting for the two different platforms and then go a little bit deeper. For the basic, you can have up to 50 hours of video storage. So you can have all of those videos on demand up to 50 hours. You can have one admin user. You can have one on a, one one on one onboarding session that allows you to get up to speed, ask questions from the use screen team and really be able to expand. For the growth plan, the difference if we're looking at it is the hours you're now going to have 150 hours. You're going to be able to have three admin users. This is great if you have a team where you're going to have multiple people managing. And then you're going to have three one-on-one -on -one onboarding sessions. That's going to be the main difference. Also, with the growth plan, you're going to be able to chat with their team um, via chat, not just email support. Those are the main differences of the basic and growth. Along with that, I showed in the basic plan, we talked about customizable website. We saw that um, when we were doing the walkthrough, flexible pricing options. We saw that as well. If you want to have a, you know, different tiers or charge different things for rentals or subscriptions, all those things, depending on what you're doing, all the things that we mentioned before and we, what we looked at the admin section, the majority, you can be doing that on the basic plan. Also, you get the Uscreen Accelerator program that's going to help you be more successful in your business. Now, the main difference when we're looking at growth, you can have a community aspect, e-commerce integration. So if you're selling different e-commerce or other things, that's important to note. Zapier or Webhook. So if you're doing things with automation, that's important. Uh, affiliate integrations third-party integrations, and free migration. So maybe if you're on another platform and you're looking or maybe you're overwhelmed to migrate, they'll be able to do that for you. So that's the main difference of what you're looking at and what you're going to be gaining. If you're looking to have a mobile app and the TV streaming app and all of those things, live streaming chat, live streaming analytics, white labeled branding, that's where you're going to be going to Uscreen Plus and you can contact Uscreen for the specific pricing for that and what it would be and your subscribers would be 50 cents per subscriber. So it would be cheaper depending on as you're scaling up and having different plans. In the comment section down below, what plan are you looking to use? What are you feeling? What's best for your business? Let me know, and if you have any questions along the way. Now, I mentioned at the beginning, one of the main things that sets this platform apart than any other platform if you're doing video on demand, and that is their 
toolkit or their tool set for their marketing. Because you can have these native tools, this is going to allow you to scale your business. Everything that I'm gonna mention that they have in their marketing, for most platforms, you need to have a, a third party or you need to have multiple platforms that you're integrating to manage this. Uscreen has all of these things. And this allows you to build your business, cut down on people leaving just with these very effective automation tools. So let's take a look at this tab. If we look at marketing, we have a couple different sections. We have generate leads, a nurture audience section, and a win back section. These are all part of, part of their marketing tool set. So generating leads, you can have, uh, they have very specific sequences. So you can do a giveaway funnel, refer a friend or landing pages. This is really good because if you're trying to, you know, create a buzz for your brand, you have all of these marketing tools right here for you. If you're looking to nurture your audience, you're looking to either help them along the way, incentivize them, giving them coupons, giving them gift cards, or just talking to them more regularly, that's what you can do through the nurturing uh, tools that we have here. The three that I really like would be the subscription upsell, the abandoned cart, and push notifications. Subscription upsells would be huge because at the time of um, checkout, you can ask them to do other things. So again, you can actually trigger different things to automatically happen when they're at checkout for them to buy more or for them to know about more deals that will really help you with making more income. And the more income, it's not just about making more money. This allows you to then invest more into your business, either have more people, you know, different staff members work or invest in your content, invest in other things. And that's just one of the benefits of being able to have these upsells and everything like that. The abandoned cart is great because say, for instance, someone decides to think about purchasing and they just forget. Uh, I, I'm guilty of doing this all the time when I'm buying something on Amazon or AppSumo, it does, it, it does all the time. So having an abandoned cart allows you to have automation instead of you manually reaching out, automatically reminds them, hey, I noticed you're interested in this, don't forget about this item. And then push notifications, especially if you have the plan for mobile apps and you're letting people know when you're going live or different content that you're now making live, you can do push notifications for people, to see it right on their phone, and it works a lot more effectively than email. People are constantly looking at their phone and looking at what's happening here. And then the last section, win back, win back. You can see reducing churn. That just means reducing people leaving. You can prevent cancellations do different offers, and then also try again for free. So you can win back subscribers to offer a free trial or let them know, hey, we care about you. Why don't you try X, Y, and Z out? You can do all of this with different automation that they're offering in this tool set. And this is huge because this allows you to have just another uh, tool in your toolbox belt <laughs> to really be able to connect with your audience and, and make the right sales and to grow your community. In the comment section down below, let me know what you're excited about, what stood out in this video, and where are you going to be in your business? If you're just thinking about an idea, we have a full breakdown down below for, for you to take your idea all the way to make it a reality. And if you're thinking about using Uscreen, we have tons of other videos on this channel where we did Uscreen versus other, um, other platforms, or if you have questions specifically, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like these kind of videos about Uscreen, we might do more on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.